We're just gonna stick with Jamar. I mean, look at this poor fella. He needs a job. Let's put him back on his job. Hog pan pump. Get back over there, Jamar. Start pumping. I've never driven any big machinery before, but I think I'm addicted, just like I am to gold mining. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Gold Rush the Game. We're picking up right where we left off here after the last episode on the old Arnold parcel, of course, that we rented from old Arnold himself, who lives over in that house, I believe. And we are uh, expanding our gold mining operation. We invested in a couple of pieces of equipment to automate and make the operation a little more efficient. And it seems to work pretty well. But we still have some manual operation that is a real, real stinker and a chore. And that would be this one right here. That is to get the dirt. The dirt over here into the hog pan and uh, to get the paid dirt. And that is, um, it's no fun. And it takes a really long time. And we're going to delegate that. And that is the first rule of good business. Smart business is to delegate the work you don't want to do. That's why so many small businesses fail because the owner, the entrepreneur, does not hire someone to do the job that they don't like to do and they end up giving it up. So that is a statistic we do not want to fall prey to. So we have this computer here that we found at the end of the uh, last episode, right at the very end. I didn't even know this thing existed. But we have a couple of options here. We can go to the bank. We can do all our banking online. That's nice. Um, and we have this transport, which we are not going to unlock right now. I'm not sure exactly what that is used for. But I noticed this one here, worker. So we can hire a crew, but we have to unlock it with $3,000, which we're going to do. And then these down here are not implemented in the game yet. So why don't we go ahead and hire a worker, and we can assign tasks that we don't like to do. For example, the digging, right? I don't want to dig anymore, so we're going to hire... Jamar Simpkins. He looks like a good digger. He's the only guy, only guy available. <laughs> so Jamar is $135, looks like, per day. He works 46% of the time. <laughs> what the heck, Jamar? What do you do with the other, uh, what is it, 54% of your time? Huh? He must be a union worker. Lots of, lots of breaks. And 14 hours a day. So that's a pretty good day, actually, 14 hours, even though he doesn't work the whole thing. So I think what we're going to do is hire this feller. Jamar, you're hired. Let me go over here to where it says hired. And we can assign old Jamar here to the old Arnold parcel. And we can put him on a job. And we're going to put him on the, whoops, the hog pan with pump. That was what we set up in the last episode, right? Or, well, at some point, I don't remember. And we're going to assign him to that. All right, Jamar, get over there. Start panning and digging. And I'm pretty sure he's, he's not going to be here. He works remotely. He works from home. But he is digging right now and panning somehow remotely. So check it out. Look in the upper right-hand corner. The gold is actually coming in. Look, every couple of seconds. Are you kidding me? But he's also taking money away. Yeah, see, because we're paying him per day. We don't pay him one big chunk of money at once. He gets paid every couple of seconds, I guess. And it'll equal his uh, his full daily pay by the end of the day, I suppose. So right now, he is literally working for us and finding gold. And that's how we expand this operation. We can't do everything ourselves. Hey, what the? My gas cans fell under the truck. <laughs> What are you guys doing down there? Trying to get out of the rain, I guess. All right, I get it. I get it. All right. You know, it's a lousy day. It's still storming, but we have some daylight here. We have a lot of gold we can go sell. But before we do that, um, I want to move on to the next step. And that is to get away from over here and move over to the big giant um, hole. Well, there's a big plot of land over there that we can dig in. And that's the next um evolution of this operation is to get a back not a backhoe a um an excavator and start digging for real and a mobile wash plant so then we can really start slinging the dirt and i think what we have to do is run water over there but i'm not sure how far the hose can reach so we're going to put a pump here and we're going to need in Face in the water like that. Let's see how far this hose can go. Now, I know it's going to take more than one pump to get the water over there. There's no other water source over there. I've already investigated. So we literally have to bring it from here over there. I'm going to coil that up. That is really cool the way they coil up. I like that. 
and we're gonna run this from here to the water and see if we can reach now make sure you put the right side in there we go all the way over come on little fella follow me it's like a little snake isn't it it's creepy oh no is that as far as you go oh drat all right i'm gonna have to pull the pump a little bit closer can i oh no i can reach i can reach i can reach drop it Bloop. oh no oh no you don't come on come on come on yes yes it's in do we have a green drip we do green drip now wondering if i can move this even more you can't move it when it's plugged in though i think that's pretty much extended as far as it's going to go so the whole idea here as i mentioned is trying to get water oh oh it's clearing up oh great it's going to be a nice night get water over here and i'm thinking about setting up somewhere in the center of this this is the area that you can dig in and this is why I want to get an excavator and start digging for real. So having Jamar over there working on the hog pan and the little river frees us up to do the uh, the big the big boy duties with big heavy machinery. So I'm thinking about setting up right here in this flat area. And we need, a, as far as I know, a mobile wash plant and the excavator. And then we can move all of the other equipment over here as well, like the wave table and the magnetite separator. But we're going to need a few more pumps, a few more hoses, and maybe a couple more generators, cables, etc. So it looks like we're going to have to go do some shopping. Um, so let me, uh, yeah, let me head into town. We'll sell this gold, and then we'll do some more shopping. And I think we might be able to make it to the bank before Mabel quits for the day. Start it up. Let's go. All right, we're at town. Before we go to the blacksmith and melt down our gold and then the bank, I'd like to check the uh, the equipment shop, which is right here. This is the heavy machinery. Mining. Yes, mining sounds good. I think this is the place. Let's kill the lights, kill the engine. Let's do a little shopping here. My flashlight out. I hate to do this at night, but got to use the time that we have available for us, right? Oh, walked right into that one. So I think... Is this the little guy we need? It's the little minotaur? Yeah, minotaur. That's the one. There's a big one and a little one. And I'm fairly certain... Oh boy, something's loading. And I'm fairly certain we can afford... Available soon. <laughs> oh, what is it? I can't wait to find out. Looks like a tank. It's an old Sherman tank. That's right. We'll shoot the dirt. Explode it. It's like fishing with dynamite, right? Available soon. All right, let's go see if the dude is available here. Oh, we have transport, right, because we can do that on the computer. Maybe we have to pay him specifically or something. Check out. Oh, I didn't order anything yet. Heavy equipment. You probably do this just like we do over at Stevens. I'm going to walk up and add it to the car. Oh, okay, yeah, you just can't do it with the flashlight in your hand. Right. Uh, it's only $28,000. For some reason, I thought this was more. So you guys had mentioned that in the comments, so thank you very much. Yeah, twenty-eight k. All right, add it to the cart. Let's do it. No reason to wait. We're going to be using that while while Jamar is uh, is doing the other work on the hog pan. Yes. Now, where does it go? The machines has been automatically transported to our nearest storage space. You can move them to your claim from the transport window next to you. There is a limitation to one machine of a kind per claim. All right. That's probably going to come with a fee, right? Uh, old Arnold parcel storage space. Yes, do it. To do it okay i can't believe i had to watch the dig tube to figure this out but you have to select the item on the right and then click the button and then confirm it it's going to cost 1500 buckaroos to move the excavator to the old arnold parcel but we got the cash and we're down to 7200 dollars. holy cow man it goes fast doesn't it all right well let's get into town let's melt this gold and we'll sell it we'll get a few bucks back and uh and then we'll go shopping so hold on tight i'm driving all right the gold has been melted down and sold at the bank and now we're at steven's mining equipment store to do some shopping let's kill the lights kill the engine and let's go buy this mobile wash plant hey steven we're back we're just gonna do a little shopping okay hope everything comes out all right yeah i think he's on the on the potty again so where's this mobile wash plant? That's not it. This is, oh, here it is right here. Mobile wash. 13.5? Holy smokes. We don't have that kind of cash. 
Oh, I wish I had known how much this thing was before we came all the way out here. Hey, Steven, you need a website with the prices. Oh, dag nabbit. All right, you know what that means? We're going to need a, a loan. We're going to need a loan from Mabel at the bank. But unfortunately, Mabel is now gone from the bank. It's closed. But that's okay, because Mabel has a website, Steven, and I can shop 24-7 there. Yeah, let's just, um, let's just buy what we need for the rest of the operation. We know we're going to have to get some water to the new work site, so we're going to need probably, I'm going to say, two more of those hoses. You know what? How much are they? 20. Let's get three. Let's make sure I got three in the cart. Just in case. Yeah, three fat hoses. We're going to need a couple of these power rope fat type to power up the, uh, the devices. And we're going to need three small water pumps. Uh, no, yeah, three total, so we're going to need to buy two. And I'm thinking that should be enough. What else do we need while we're here? Let's grab a couple more buckets. Always need buckets, right? Let's get two more buckets. I think that ought to do. I think that should do. All right, let's check out. And let's load it up into the truck. We'll head back to the parcel. Get some sleep in for the night. Oh, there's Mabel ringing the church bell. Uh, what time is it anyway? Holy smokes, it's 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go home and go to bed. Oh, look. <laughs> Steven lined it all up and stood it up too. And then he went right back to the John. <laughs> oh, he's a funny character, that guy. All right, yeah, so let me load all this up. I'm going to pull the truck back a little bit, in fact. And then we'll race on home. Go to bed. Get the load in the morning. Uh, get the loan, right? And then um, we'll come back for that mobile wash plant tomorrow. So, yeah, hang tight. I'll be right back. Don't go away. We're going to get this thing done today. I guarantee it. All right, back at the old Arnold parcel. And hopefully nothing fell out of the truck bed. We got some rough terrain here. And this is the trouble spot right here between these two rocks. Can we do it? Got it. Nope. Hold on. Got it. Okay. <laughs> and it looks like Jamar went home for the day. He's not bringing in any more gold. I mean, he, we're still paying him. You can see the money going down, but the gold's not coming up. <gasps> Holy smokes. It's our little minotaur. It's here. It got delivered. Just like we paid for. Oh, baby, I cannot wait to operate that thing. Hopefully it has a full tank of gas. Uh, all right, well, let's get home. Let's get to bed. We'll go in the trailer, get some shut eye, and then we'll have a whole day ahead of us tomorrow to do what needs to be done. And hopefully we can get that excavator up and running in the mobile wash plant and all that jazz. But first things first, let's go to bed. Good night. Let's sleep right to dawn. What's this? Somebody wants to work for you. Oh, of course they do. <laughs> Everybody wants to work for us. Let's check the tablet here. Uh, who is it? That's Jamar, who is currently not working. Do we have to put him in his job every day? Anyway, let's see who... Holy smokes, it's Zolma. Zolma Wallen. Super excited about something. And it looks like she? It's $147 a day. And works 61% of the time. So Zelma works more percentage-wise, but fewer hours. So I'm not sure which one is better. We're just going to stick with Jamar. I mean, look at this poor fella. He needs a job. Let's put him back on his job. Hog pan pump. Get back over there, Jamar. Start pumping. And let's just make sure he's back here. Yes, Gold is coming back in. And he's, get, he's doing what he's getting paid for. Um, he's doing it remotely. Everybody's working online these days, except for the equipment store. I mean, even Mabel, who's 90 years old, has her own website. And it looks like the, uh, Steven's website is a work in progress. Uh-huh. Sure. Anyway, let's get a loan. We need to buy that mobile wash plant, and we need... It was 13000 right? Why don't we just get an even... Oh, man. Even 10. Can I, can I do that? This is very tricky. I can't get it to go to 10. It's like a little mini game. I just want 10. All right, fine. Eight. I can't get it to 10, so we'll just go with eight. And we can choose the number of payments we want to make. So the more payments we make, the less the daily charge will be. But the interest is going to be higher in the long run because you're paying the interest every day, right? So how about if we do... What are we comfortable with? How about 30 payments... $302 a day, 
and we'll end up paying about a thousand dollars in interest that sounds good to me and it should give us just enough to get the wash plant and have a couple of bucks left over to pay people and so forth um, and hopefully we can start making some more money all right yep yeah, let's do it took a loan all right we got the cash now sixteen thousand dollars we can go buy that mobile wash plant but before we do that let's unload the stuff and hook up the pump i think that's the priority right now let's go do that right now so we have to extend this thing all the way over to where we want to operate and like i said that will be the center of that big dirt plot there whoops what hopefully hopefully this will reach we're gonna need a hose let's see how far this thing can go um is that out yes that's out plug it in and we'll bring it all the way over extend it as far as it goes uh oh it's gonna go through the hill no right there oh wow that's not really very far is it we might need another pump we might need four pumps for this oh i'm holding down the right mouse button and i can stretch it out holy smokes okay that's cool drop yeah right there let's go grab a pump all right right here's good er, just leave it running can't exit the machine while it's moving <laughs> that's a good tip plug that in the end and now we grab another hose and extend it even farther Oh, perfect. This is going to work great, guys. This is going to be amazing. Okay, right there. Perfect. And the last pump right here. All right. Plug that in. And now it doesn't say we have water because I think we have to turn them all on, maybe? Or did I hook that up wrongly? In, out. This one clearly has water. They probably just need gas, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, now they all have green drips because we turned this water on, which provides the water to the next pump, and so on. All right, so we got to gas these up. I'm going to fill these pumps up to about 50% capacity because I'm not sure how much gas we're going to need for the mobile wash plant. And let's go, let's drive over. All right, the pumps are set up. They all have at least 50% gas in the tanks, and we now have water in our new operation area, or will anyway, when we turn them all on. And I think right now what I want to do is hop in this Minotaur Ooh, and try it out. Let's see, does it have full tank of gas, I wonder. How do I get in? I guess I gotta climb in the cab, that makes sense. Oh, here we go, this is exciting. Show the controls, I have not done this yet. So, bear with me. Crank up the engine. Oh, that's loud. Listen to that guy rumble. Ooh. All right, cool. We got two different modes of operation, driving and digging. So how about if we lift up that arm first? Can we do that? Big arm up. Come on, big arm. Oh, look at that. I do got a big arm. There we go. Right about there. Switch to driving mode and let's go. Oh, this has a brake too. So let's disengage the brake. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love it. I've never driven any big machinery before, but I think I'm addicted, just like I am to gold mining. Oh, you feel so powerful in this thing. Listen to that rumble. Holy cow, this is great. All right, can it go any faster? Here, let's switch the camera around. And that's behind view, and now we have the free camera viewing angle. Oh, that's sweet. That's us in there, we got our orange vest on. Got our orange safety vest and a uh, looks like we have a, a safety helmet on too. Safety first. Okay, now we see all the gauges over there to the right. So it has a half tank of gas. All right, we made it. So we're just gonna park this right here, engage the brake, kill the engine, and exit the vehicle. Oh my gosh, that is just awesome. I love it. So now what we need to do is go by the mobile wash plant. Let's get rid of that panel. And then we'll drive that over here. And I'm pretty sure we can attach that to the pickup truck. We'll bring it over and we'll get started filling it up with dirt. And hopefully we have everything we need. I'm going to have to get a generator too. We'll bring our generator over. All right, here we are in town. Don't stop. Just keep going. There's no traffic here. I'm so excited. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, slow it down. <laughs> Alright, kill the engine. Gauge the brake. And I think the mobile wash plant's gonna end up right here in this bay. You know what? Let's move the truck then. I don't want to cause any problems. Let's get it over here. Here we go. Alright, that's good. Perfect. So this does have a trailer hitch, right? Oh, it sure do. Check it out. Right, let's go see Steven. Oh, never mind. He's still indisposed. Don't worry about it, Steven. Stay right where you are. I don't want to shake your hand. Not today. We're just going to buy this right here. Bam, just one. That's all we can afford. We got $16,000 and it's going down fast. We need to make some cash and <laughs> quick. So we need to help Jamar. He's doing all the work. And I think that's it. There it is. Oh, yeah. It's a beaut. And it's all ours. And we're down to $2,500. <laughs> So we need to start actually working and finding gold and selling it and making some money because uh, otherwise we're going to run out of cash. All right, I'm going to have to switch camera modes here to back it up. I, whoop, I prefer first person, but we'll line it up just right. I think that's perfect. And now we grab that little fella. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's heavy. Ugh, good thing I've been working out. And now I think it's on. Only one way to find out. Yeah, let's disengage that um, differential. We don't need it here. Oh, the game keeps telling me to turn it off, and it was already off. Whoa, 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 you're drifting. Drifting backwards. I'm going to go forwards. All right, we're back at the parcel. And I'm going to make a quick stop right here. Oh, yeah, I know. Safety first. Because I put some things on these shelves over here. I had some extra equipment in the back of the truck that I forgot to take out. And I just don't like driving around in the dirt with this stuff back there because I'm afraid it might fall out. That's pretty cool. You have all this little storage area over here for extra stuff. All right, let's just slide out over. Disengage the brake. And let's go get the rest of the equipment we're going to need for this mobile wash plant. And that would be... Let's just kill the engine. We're going to be here a while. Um, I think we're going to need a generator. We're going to need um, a hose thin hose and I think the fat power cable I'm pretty sure we have well we have one in the back of the truck we just picked it up hopefully we don't lose this gas we've got 75% gas in here and we don't hopefully we don't lose it in transport I'm stuck nope one more bucket ought to do I'll bring the wave table and the magnetite separator over later I think for right now I, I really just want to focus on using that excavator and getting the dirt in the washer and then washing it and then we'll come back for the rest of it and finish the process okay awesome now where are the hose connections and everything on here it's on this side so we want to go around to the left all right you know what let's have a work light in here too <laughs> how about right about there stop all right let's keep the engine running because we got to detach this thing and unhook pull the truck forward a little Hit the brake. Alright, that's good. Oh, jeez. Kill the engine. We're done for a bit with the truck. Okay, super! Now, we have to make all the necessary attachments and so forth. Um, so, did I grab a regular little hose? I did. Actually, grab that work plate first. Let's drop that down. We're not going to need that yet. Got the regular hose, which is going to run from there. Oops, dropped it. Here to the pump. Right, so we'll have water. And we're going to need power. So I'll put the jenny over here. Right next to the pump. It's going to get a little noisy here. But such is life as a miner. And this one, I believe, this mobile wash plant, needs the fat cable. It do. Bam, right in there. That's it. So I've got to turn all the water on, all the water pumps leading all the way back to the river, and then we can crank this thing up. But I think before I do that, oh wait, we're gonna need a bucket in there too, right? We need the pay dirt to be collected, of course. Otherwise, this is gonna spill out all over the ground. That would be bad, bad indeed. All right. Well, let's crank up the power and just have a look at this. Uh, where's the power? see yeah so we have power we just don't have the water obviously we want a green drip there 
Uh, we might as well do the test. Let's just do the test. We'll run all the way back here and turn on the first pump. And the next pump. Whoa, watch out. And then the next pump. And it doesn't look like Jamar's working right now. He's collecting pay, but he's not working. We better go back to the tent and reassign him. Jamar, what you doing? Lunch break is over. Get back to work, you stinker. Do what you're getting paid for. Okay, yeah, he's, he's working again. <laughs> All right, let's crank up the pumps. Pump number one. Water be flowing. Pump number two. Send your watery goodness down this tube to the work site. And pump number three. Here we go. And we have water. Fantastic. And then we can turn this on. Woo! Excellent. The water's flowing, guys. Now all we have to do is dump the dirt in. And that's where I'm getting a little scared because I gotta hop in here and figure out how to use that arm without knocking everything down. All right, well, let's do that. Let me save it first, though, just in case something goes bad. <laughs> okay, the game is saved, and it's time to start digging. But you know what? Let's turn that volume down because it's super loud. The engine of this excavator, as well as the uh, mobile wash plant. We've got the generators going and the pumps, and that's making me nervous. So as cool as the engine of this thing sounds, I just don't need any more background noise. All right, engine's on. Let's switch camera. Um, I like this one right here. We can see the whole setup. And now let's bring up our control panel to operator mode. And this is the bucket. All right, this is cool. So we can spin the whole thing around independent of the track. So that makes sense. And now we got to, I think we have to swing the little arm out first. Yes, little arm out. And whoa, I think that's far enough. And then the bucket down. How do we do the bucket? Open the bucket. I mean, yes. And now we just grab some dirt. Bring it right into the ground and oh okay that looks like that's about as deep as it goes <laughs> and i think we need to move the small arm in yes and then the bucket up gee and we get a big scoop of dirt and we just bring the whole thing up again uh, bring that up higher 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 yeah yeah so you can't you can't lift the bucket up until you get it out of the dirt oh look at me shaking around in here um oh wrong way and now we just have to bring it over the wash plant. Make sure we're centered. And wow, this is pretty tricky, to be honest. I'm going to drop it down a little bit more. I want to try to get as much dirt in there as possible. But I guess we should bring this small arm down some, too. All right, and now we just dump it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong button. Dump it. Dump it with a T. And try not to hit it. That looks like we might be a little bit off, so I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. So this is going to take me some time to get used to this, but I think I understand how it works. I just have to get more comfortable with the controls. Oh, shake it up. Shake that dirt out of there. And how much did we get? 4%. How much dirt did we get in there? 5%? That was it? <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to get better at this. I'm thinking I should be able to get at least like 10 or 20% with every scoop, no? I don't know. Uh, listen, I've never operated heavy equipment before, so just bear with me as I try to figure this out. See, that's not a good scoop. Let's get down deeper. Oh, wow. Check out the arm cam. And then there's a bucket cam, too, which is really cool. Slick. All right, yeah, let me just play around with this, guys, and I'll be right back, and then we'll, um, we'll check that mobile wash plant. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Big scoop coming up. Oh, yeah. Look at that, huh? All right, guys. It's almost midnight. And we're at 99% dirt collected so far. And I even set up my work light. Ooh, raise that up a little bit. I had to set up my work light so I can see a little bit better because it's getting super dark. Obviously, it's nighttime. And there we go. 100%. Woohoo. Okay. Let's bring this over here. Let's close the bucket. And kill that engine. Wait, there's a light on this thing, too? Yes. And out we go. Oh, okay. Well, wow, that took a lot longer than I had expected. Let's kill all the powery things and the generator and the pump. Now that I turned the volume down, I can't even hear these pumps. Doesn't sound like they're on, but they are. They are. All right, let's get back. And I think what I might do is just go to sleep now. We'll come back in the day 
and we'll take that gold and bring it over to the wave table and see uh, see how we did. In fact, I'll probably bring all that over here so we don't have to keep running back and forth. We'll set up the wave table and the magnetite separator since this is where we're going to be working. So why don't we do that? Yeah, let's go to bed and we'll call it a day for now and I'll see you guys in the morning. I just wanted to show you that we got 100%. I'm going to leave it right there. And hopefully nobody steals it in the middle of the night. All right, let's get to bed.